it is the next morning and I'm checking and the radiator is still low on fluid so it has continued to leak although it looks like it may not be completely empty I don't know I'm gonna try adding some more of this um, bars um, heavy-duty stop leak and um, some more water and um, antifreeze and hopefully it'll seal it because if it doesn't I don't know what else to do so the first thing I need to do is shake this guy up I'm gonna have to open the lid and just simply pour it in now you have to pour this stuff in while it's uh, engine is still cold It's like a bunch of little pellets that melt. Now I need to add some um, more radio fluid and water. Now, you're supposed to be able to pour it in and it's supposed to not leak. So you can see how bad the leak really is. It's like leaking all the way through. So I started the engine back up hoping to circulate those beads into the holes. And ready or not, I'm going to have to seal it up and try to get to work because I can't miss work. The holes are really, really bad. I think it's literally just uh, pouring right out. Before giving up, I'm going to try one more bit of voodoo, and that is this um, Bars Leaks Radiator Stop Leak Concentrate. It stops and seals coolant leaks. Probably won't work for this, but we're going to try it. Because the leak here is really bad. But I can still see some liquid there, so it's somewhat holding. So we're going to try adding this stuff and see what happens. I have added the um, Bars Leak Concentrate. And so now we have a gooey mess in there. But at least I can still see it. So I'm going to pour a little bit more water in there. And then I'm going to start it up, seal it up. And that's it. Quick tip for those of you who film yourself um, working on your car. Don't ever set the phone or the camera down inside the hood. <laughs> I was in a rush to try to do the repair to the radiator, the cooling system. And um, I had to rush to work so I shut the hood down. Phone was still in there. I didn't even realize it until I was driving down the street. And I was like, where's my phone? pop open the hood and luckily where I set it it didn't crush the phone and it hadn't gotten too hot yet so anyhow I'm on US 1 right now heading to work you can see the car is revving at 4,000 rpm I'm doing probably about 45 miles per hour maybe 50 it is stuck in uh, gear 2 still on the mode I've added uh, two bottles of the uh, Bars Heavy Duty Stop Leak and then one bottle of the Concentrated Stop Leak from Bar. I think the total cost for all that was um, I think about $8, $9. I also put in some um, coolant and some water but I don't think it's sealing. I think the hole's too big. There's like it's leaking uh, midway through I think where the people say the engine, the people with mechanical backgrounds say they think it's where the engine joins the um, transmission. So 
over there saying it's all like rusty under there. So that's probably true, which means not a simple repair. But I did what I could. I'm not gonna spend too much more than this. I, you know, spend another twenty dollars with the coolant and the um, the radiator leak repair stuff. So at this point, you know, I'll check it again when I get to work once the engine cools down and see if it's holding any liquid at all. But I think it's draining everything out within minutes, which means um, I'm really driving the car with no coolant in it. It's being air cooled. Now, the um, gauge here says it's not overheating, says it's halfway. And the gauge does move up and down, but it's interesting that it keeps saying it's not overheating when there's no coolant cooling it down. I am doing, you know, um, highway speed here on US 1. So, I'm not sure what's up. I uh, just gotta, I guess I'm literally driving on a wing and a prayer. <laughs> you can hear the whining there. The ride to work is not short. It's a long ride between um, the Melbourne Palm Bay area and um, Coco. So, I'm running a little bit late for work right now, but I'll let my boss know. Hopefully he got my text. I'll do what I can. I guess that's all I can do. Um, just praying that the vehicle holds out long enough until I can get resituated here.